Hi, I'm Tracy and welcome back to lesson three of our bridge lessons. This lesson we're going to teach you more about bidding and bidding is when you set the target number of tricks you need to take for that hand and you also set the trump suit or you choose to play in no trumps. The suits in bridge have a, rank, a ranking. So they rank this way, the lowest suit is clubs, then diamonds, then hearts, then spades, and no trumps is the highest. And they're grouped into two groups, the minors being clubs and diamonds, and the majors being hearts and spades. The bidding system we're teaching you is called five card majors, and it is all about finding a fit in a major suit, if at all possible. You're not trying to find a fit in a minor suit. Bridge is all about the majors, and on the next slide I will show you why that is. Um, and usually if you can't find a fit in a major you would choose to play in no trumps if you can in preference to playing with a minor suit as trumps. This is called the bidding ladder and it is basically the vocabulary you have available to you when you are bidding or setting the target number of tricks and setting the suit that will be the trump suit. You're not allowed to talk to your partner in English and say, I've got five spades, how many do you have? Or I've got 15 points, how many do you have? You have to talk in code and these are the words you're allowed to use in your code. They obviously all have different meanings and we're going to be teaching you what those meanings are. When you're bidding in bridge, it goes in a clockwise direction. The dealer gets to bid first and the dealer can either choose to pass and pass means either I have a weak hand or I have said everything I have to say and I've got nothing more to add. If he doesn't pass, then he's called the opening bidder and he makes his first bid usually at the one level and it's usually one of these, one club, one diamond, one heart, one spade or one a trump. And the bidding then goes round in a clockwise direction, it's an auction. Whoever bids after the opening bidder has to choose a bid that is higher up the ladder than the last bid. That's why these, the ranking is important because a heart can be bid over say a club. The goal is to make the bid number of tricks plus six. So if the bidding ends at say three spades that means somebody bid three spades and then three people after him passed. That means it's the end of the auction then whoever bid the three spades, it's the aim is for his partnership to take at least three plus six tricks with spades as the trump suit. Now if the bidding ends in this range, so four diamonds or below, we call it a part score and that means that you and your partner have less than 25 total points. The aim is to bid a game if possible because you get bonus points when you bid a game and make a game and game is either three no trump, so game in no trumps is three no trump, or nine tricks, three plus six. Game in a major is ten tricks, that's four hearts or four spades, and game in a mi minor is eleven tricks, that's five plus six. You can see why you would rather play in four spades or four hearts than in five of a minor, because you need to make one less trick to get the bonus points. Now we're going to tell you when you can bid. So if you are the dealer or if nobody has bid anything other than pass before you, you can, opening the, you can open the bidding when you have 12 or more high card points. Once somebody at the table has opened the bidding, if it's the opposition, you can overcall. That means you are bidding a suit in competition to the opposition with at least 12 or more high card points and you need a five card or more suit. The responder or the person who responds is the partner of the person who opened and they only need six or more high card points to respond. If they have less than six high card points they have to pass. So those are the point requirements. Now we're going to tell you what you're going to bid. So if you want to open the bidding, so nobody has bid a suit or no trumps before you, they've only passed or perhaps you're the dealer. If you have at least 12 high card points and you have five or more cards in spades 
or in hearts. So you've got five spades in your hand or six spades in your hand or five hearts in your hand or eight hearts in your hand. You can open the bidding with one spade or one heart. The bidding system we're teaching you is called five card majors and it's called that because you need at least five cards in your major to open one of a major. If you have 12 high card points or more, but you don't have at least five spades or five hearts, then you open the bidding with one of your longest minor. So you'd open it one club or one diamond. So you can see all the bids we're showing you here are down at the bottom of this bidding ladder. So here's a question. This is your hand. What would your opening bid be? You can pause the video and think about it. You have 12 high card points here, so you have enough points to open the bidding. You then look for a five card major and you can see that you do have five hearts. So you would open the bidding one heart. What about this hand? What would your opening bid be? Pause the video. You've got 13 high card points here, so you can open the bidding, but you can see that you don't have a five card major. That means you have to choose your best minor, which is diamonds, so you would open the bidding one diamond. What's your opening bid here? Pause the video. You only have nine high card points here. That's not enough to open the bidding. You don't have 12 or more, so you will pass. What's your opening bid here? You've got 19 high card points. You don't have a five card major, so you open your better minor, which is one club. You may end up opening the bidding with a three card suit. And that's okay. Right, now I'm going to tell you what to bid when your partner has opened the bidding with either one heart or one spade. So when you have support, which is a fit, and because we're playing five card majors, when your partner opens one spade or one heart, they are promising at least five spades or at least five hearts. You only need three of that suit for a fit. So when you have at least three of the suit they've opened, then firstly you have a fit, so you can add on your distribution points, and then you will have your total points. If you have six to nine total points, you will bid two of the suit you have a fit in. If you have between 10 and 12 total points, you will bid 3 of the suit you have a fit in. And if you have game points, so that's at least 13 total points because your partner has at least 12, you will bid game, which is 4 of a major. If you don't have a fit, you will bid 1 no trump with 6 to 9 high card points. So here's a question. What is your response? Your partner, P, has opened one heart. Remember that shows your partner has at least 12 high card points and at least five hearts. And this grey writing here tells you what to bid. You can pause the video and work it out. So you will see that you have eight high card points here. You have a fit in hearts. You only need three hearts to have a fit because your partner has five of them. So you can add on distribution points, which are another three points for your singleton, and that's a total of 11 points. And you can see here, with 10 to 12 total points, you bid three of the suit you have a fit in, which is hearts, so you would bid three hearts. What would your response be on this hand when your partner opens one heart? Pause the video. On this hand, you have seven high card points, you have a fit with partner, so you can add on one point for distribution. That's a total of eight high card points, which is in this range, six to nine. So you will raise your partner to two hearts. On this hand, again, your partner opens one heart. What is your response? You can see that you only have four high card points, and that is not enough to respond, so you pass. On this hand, again, your partner opens one heart. What do you respond? Pause the video. You have 15 high card points, and because you have a fit, remember your partner has at least five hearts, and you have four, that's nine, which is more than enough for a fit. You can add in a point for each of your doubletons. So you have 17 total points, 
and 17 plus your partner's 12 is enough for game, so you would jump to game, which is 4 hearts. On this hand, okay, so here we're going back to you on the opening bidder again. So you picked up your hand and you found that it had 13 points in it. So you could open the bidding and you chose to open the bidding one heart because you had five hearts in your hand. The next player passed and then your partner bid two hearts and you should now know that that means your partner has a fit in hearts so he has at least two hearts and he has between six and nine total points. The next player passes and now it's your turn to bid again. You've got 13 high card points and because you now know you have a fit with partner you can add in your distribution points. So you can add in another point for this doubleton which gives you 14 total points. You know your partner's limited to 6 to 9 total points because he only bid 2 hearts so the maximum number of points he can have is 9. 9 for him plus 14 for you is 23 which is not enough for game. That means game is impossible on this, this hand, so there's no reason to continue bidding, so you would pass two hearts. On this hand again, you had opened the bidding, one heart, because you have 15 high card points and you have, in this case, a six card major. So you have at least five cards in hearts. You opened one heart, the next player passed, and then your partner bid two hearts, showing a fit in hearts and a and six to nine total points. The next player passed and now it's your turn to bid again. Because you know you have a fit you can add in your distribution points and that is five points for your void in clubs which gives you a total of 20 points. Your 20 points plus your partner's minimum six points is 26 points and that's enough for game. So you would jump to four hearts which is probably where the bidding will end and you will need to take at least 10 tricks to make your game contract. Once again, you open the bidding with one heart. You had 13 high card points and a five card heart suit. Your partner raised to two hearts, so your partner had six to nine total points and a fit in hearts. You now get to revalue your hand and you get to add in a point for each of your doubletons. So you have a total of 15 points. 15 plus your partner's maximum of nine is not enough for game. So you again would pass. On this hand, you opened one heart. You had 17 high card points. Your partner raised to two hearts. Because you have a fit, you can add in your distribution points for your singleton diamond, so you have a total of 20 points. And because you know your partner has a minimum of six points, you know between you and your partner you have a minimum of 26 total points. That's enough for game, so you would raise to four hearts. That is the end of lesson three. Tune in again for lesson four.